Now I'd like to present you with an appendix. A, an appendix to uh, Book 2, Part 1 of The Painter. Where past, present, and future are congruent, at least in theory, with definition, conceptualization, and encyclopedian metaphysics, the high, middle, and low lands reinvent as they cast aside the sticks, flame, and smoke from the belly of the whale, as they likewise do the kilnet coinage of the forge. The painter would neither trespass and vaguely and vague and vague raptures telling thereof, nor juxtapose the two sided coinage, opposing emotional um, emotional textures stamp, stamping themselves upon where else but there within would the rustic suburb and city come into being before the anthropologist's eyes? The lady, the painter, was stamping in codes of interrelative portraitures, perspectives of seven varied half lights. Said, uh, Now, the idea here <coughs> is that, and I, I actually forgot to write this down, that, that um, definition. Conceptualization and encyclopedia are three th three growths of the same thing, kind of like solidity, impenetrability, and extension. Or, if you wanted to say morph it in another direction, you could say past, present, and future. So this is what the, I left out of the uh, this story. Um, we and we we all have uh, um, those among us who who think such things and, and wonder. And uh, I would like to say have have a great day. And um, I'll be back. I will continue the story. And remember, the non-linear process is always available to be reinterpreted in some of the form of literary. Like you have the circle. There were several books that were written as circles. They still had linear sequentiality as as the as the method of the circle. That was um, well, Dante's uh, Divine Comedy, Teresa of Avila's Interior Castle, and of course um, both of Joyce's masterpieces, especially Finnegan's Wake, which begins with the ending of the beginning of the last sentence. So. And there we have it. No, see, I, I will, I will put this on YouTube.